Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, Jack's wallet and uh, what's coming up with Jack's. But before I do that, I just kind of want to go over a quick overview of different wallets and uh, what kind of uh, security they have and possible holes in their security. And uh, and at the end. I'll, at the end, when I go into Jax, I'll, I'll explain why I believe that Jax is the superior wallet. Okay. Um, so I wanted to start right here with. Uh, um, I, I went to this article right here on uh, Coin Sutra. You can go to it, coinsutra.com slash bitcoin uh, minus wallet. All right. So um, I came here, I'm not going to go too in depth on this, but it just talks about the different uh, types of wallets that you can have to hold your Bitcoin. And, uh, and, and now, you know, everybody knows that it's not just one wallet uh, for each coin. Um, that really the wallets are expanding out and uh, we got multi-coin wallets. So um, I'm going to go down and just... Uh, you know, understanding what are Bitcoin wallets. Uh, you know, there's different kinds of Bitcoin wallets. Um, you got mobile, desktop, hardware, web wallets, and paper wallets. Okay. And uh, there's mobile wallets. This is just a small list of, of mobile wallets right here. Um, I know it's not showing Jacks. This is a little bit older uh, article, but it is. Um, it is relevant on some of the information. Um, mobile wallets are normally not as secure because uh, usually uh, with mobile wallets, you don't get your keys. Yeah, there's two problems with mobile wallets. You don't get your keys for one. Okay, usually. Some of them do give you your keys. And the next one is uh, if you do get your keys, uh, your mobile phone is the most unsecure device that you've got and uh, there's lots of uh, malware that is made to try and get your keys um, on your mobile devices and uh, McAfee you know he he's he's talked about this extensively and you know he does say that it comes mostly from porn sites you know, you, they they upload a virus into the porn sites, and then you watch it in on your desktop or your your cell phone, and that it looks for your keys, so that they can steal your Bitcoin. Anyway, so I wanted to go down. Go, okay. You got your desktop wallets. Almost all desktop wallets will give you your seed key, um, and uh, also a or, or you you get your private keys and a seed key these days, so um, where most of the it seems like most of the the mobile ones don't do that. So so that you know when you get your private keys and you get a seed key, that makes your your wallet more secure. So which which that makes uh, desktop wallets really secure. And then you got hardware wallets. And the thing about hardware wallets is the hardware stores your your keys, your private keys. And uh, the software is on uh, your desktop, you know, on your mobile device or, or not, you know, mobile device or your desktop. And in order to spend those uh, funds, uh, you have to have the private keys, which is held on a device such as these here we see uh, there are more devices in this because this is an older article making uh, it very secure um, you know uh, against theft it, it's it's a it's a really really good security measure because uh, you have to have that device in order to spend the funds and then um, you know uh, you got uh, web wallets that are called hot wallets or online, and what these ones do is that someone else is holding your your keys for you, and um, usually these these ones go 
you know, as far as, uh, you know, that works off of an email. If your email gets hacked and they're looking for something like this, they want to get your Bitcoin, you know, more than likely you're, they're going to get your Bitcoin. This is uh, usually pretty unsecure. Um, I don't recommend it at all. I like holding my keys. When I get a wallet, the number one thing I look at, am I holding the keys? Do I have a seed key? I want to make sure that there's not, I'm not using an email to, for my backup or nothing like that. Okay, uh, then we go to paper wallets, which a lot of people say that that's the, it's the ultimate wallet, uh, paper wallet. Um, in some ways, I, I got to agree with them, and a few others, I, I kind of disagree. Um, you know, you can you can put it in your safe, but you gotta. If there's a flood, uh, you know, you can wash out this ink, and you wouldn't be able to. Uh, to retrieve that, um, if uh, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen. If uh, you know your safe uh, is not fireproof or not fireproof enough, and is in a fire, um, you could end up losing this. Um, but that's about the only you know. Pretty much the only way as long as you create your paper wallet securely um, it's 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 safe it's really safe you know um, so all right and it goes on this article goes on you can read it it's great information um, that you can go through and look at so I want to go and show you, you know, I, I really like Jax and I use Jax. So Jax is going to bring what they're saying is is the ultimate uh, the ultimate let's look at this uh, we'll view image here. Uh, what they're saying is going to be the ultimate uh, wallet. It's going to um, right here. So um, this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know everything. The way I understand, it's going to interact with your your uh, wallet on your phone. Um, it could possibly be completely independent. So that's another thing. It looks like it may be completely independent, or it may work with your phone. We're not sure everything you know about it. But um, when it comes out, I do plan on getting getting one right away. You know. Um, so let's look at this thing. Um, this is something they've been working on for for uh, for a while. You know, you can look here for over for a year. You can see right here. This is around the announcement. You know, so about a year they've been working on this, and uh, I think they're getting really close. They said they were going to release it um, sometime in the beginning of this year. We're at, so um, we're here. So it should be coming out pretty soon. So let's let's take a look at uh, some of the features that they're saying. They're saying it generates your private keys on device and never connects to the internet. Um, that's awesome right there. That means that uh, that's that's really high level security. Uh, it has a G, uh, GUI, a camera, and QR code functional functionality, um, which means that you can. You can you just uh, snap pictures at your Q, uh, QR code here and send. So it, it looks like it's maybe just it's independent. So we'll we'll see. Uh, we'll have a fire rating and be waterproof, guys. <laughs> that is awesome. So this is they're really making this to be the wallet that you can carry uh, anywhere and. Uh, you know, you got it in your pocket and it rains, it ain't going to hurt it. Um, you know, it's in your house, it, it, you know, fireproof rating, I don't expect a lot, but, you know, a fireproof rating on it, that's that's awesome, you know. Uh, very compact, uh, so you can easily store it in a small safe uh, or safety deposit box or etc. Uh, it's going to be backed up by a single 12-word uh, uh, numeric backup phrase. That's really cool. So you can you can write that down, store it securely, and uh, if anything happens to your Jack's Ice Cube, 
uh, you know, you'll be able to recover it. Just get another one, um, use the phrase, and it'll it'll will recover it. Uh, it's uh, you know, Jax is looking forward, and I know this is something that they've been developing really hard uh, over the last year, and it's uh, right here. It says right there. So early 2017. So I'm imagining that uh, um, they're at the completion of this, and they're probably in in the uh, the manufacturing stage of this device. So that's that's really cool. So and then I wanted to show you something else. This is something that uh, just really this is awesome right here Jax is looking to really take it to the next level uh, they're talking about uh, here uh, gift cards Jax gift cards so which means that you'll be able to go to any convenience store um, you know you could go down to uh, any convenience store or any uh, supermarket or whatever you go over to the gift cards and you can buy yourself a Jax coin card right here. This part right here would be covered. This is the key to get the funds. This part would be covered with a uh, uh, scratch. So you'd scratch it off after you purchase it. You just pur purchase it for the for the amount of funds that you want uh, to put in your wallet. And uh, it's really cool. And you'd, you'd use it with your Jax wallet. So um, you wouldn't have to hunt down an ATM uh, and then hope that it's in service because you know we do. We all know those things do go down. You know, um, and here they're talking about the ice cube as well. So Jax is really looking forward to really bringing um, with all of their innovation, uh, bringing it to the forefront. Um, and they don't they don't seem to be um, pushing stuff out um, just super fast uh, just to get it out there um, they really truly seem to be focused on security of your your currency your cryptocurrency anyway I wanted to bring that out and let you know I, uh, I know Thomas he said to, he wanted to tell everyone but he's like no this is what you 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 knew because I told him and he didn't want to uh, take it away from me about what's going on so the Jack's card coin card you know we'll be seeing those and uh, man the ice cube you know that's that's gonna be cool guys that's gonna be really cool um, to be able to have this and and it be waterproof and everything uh, secure storage um, in an all-in-one device so absolutely you know it's it's innovation is what it is so yep that's it uh, you know, I'm expecting news about this and a release uh, very soon, you know, next month or so uh, is what I'm hoping for. And uh, keep your eyes out for it. You know that when it does release, I'll be ordering, I'll make a video. I'll be ordering one as soon as I can. And uh, I'll be making a video on, the, uh, on it when it comes out as far as uh, how it works and everything to show you guys so that uh, you can make a decision on whether you would like to get this or not so anyway uh, that's it for I have for this video so uh, remember to store your coins in a secure way um, go ahead and, and uh, run over here to uh, and you, there's lots of other ones you know Bitcoin wallet everything a beginner needs to know uh, on coin sutra and you can take a look at this uh, here and uh, there are other ones uh, go ahead and and uh, do some do your do Google and, and read up and make sure you uh, 
have your funds secured uh, in a way that uh, keeps them from getting stolen or you losing them so anyway that's it and you have a good day